What's up guys, this is Fuzzy Bear here. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to get from 1 to 99 Herbler, uh, because I recently got it on my 99 live stream. Um, if you guys do not know my live stream, link will be down in the description. Um, but I figured I'd help you guys out with this. Um, there's two methods. You can either make a lot of money with this, or you can either blow a lot of money by doing it fast. And uh, I did it really fast, and I blew a lot of money. I blew about 20 to 25 mil total. Um, definitely, definitely worth it though. I am very happy to have uh, 99 Herbler, and if you guys follow this, I'm sure you'll be fine. So, uh, the first one we'll go by is money making method. Um, so obviously you have to start the Druidic Ritual quest, and then you're gonna do, and then you're gonna want to jump over to uh, automatically attack pots. You can't really do anything else unless you ID a shit ton of herbs. So um, make those, and then you're gonna want to end up going to anti poisons because anti poisons make a lot of money if you uh, sell them correctly. And then don't worry about any or attack pots, strength pots, defense pots. It's gonna be stupid. Uh, make your anti poison pots all the way to stat restore. Um, stat Restore is not going to be the most profitable, um, but it'll get you some XP. Um, as soon as you hit Stat Restore, make it to 26. And 26 is going to be Energy Pots, which is Harlander and Chocolate Dust. Now you're going to want to start stocking up on um, Harlander and Chocolate Dust for a little while. So um, definitely Harlanders, so they're very hard to come by. Well, not very hard, but you know, a lot of people try to get them. <laughs> so you're going to go from 26 down to 38 um, prayer restore pots this is where you make your money um, you'll make a lot of money here um, you can easily get to the supplies right now um, it is August 7th so you can get rainer weeds for about 4.3k each snapgrass cheat uh, for about 150 to 180 uh, depends on who you buy from um, so you're going to want to go and make these all the way to 45. But I advise you to keep making these. Don't ever stop making prayer restores for money, ever. Um, you'll lose a lot of money that way. Um, when you get to your super attack pots, you're going to start making your super sets and your pure sets. Uh, pure set is a set of super attack and super strength. Um, super sets are super attack, super strength, and super defense. Um, you know, there's not much of a difference there. Um, but make your super attacks all the way to super energy. And hold these. Do not get rid of them. Ever. Unless you, uh, or not ever, but unless you have the money. If you don't, go ahead and get rid of them. Um, super energies will get you money. Definitely. Um, I think Vantos go for about 2k each. Um, more minor fun guy is about 200 GP. It's around there. Um, and you can sell these for 3.5k, so that's that's some profit. Um, and the reason I said hold on to super attacks is because when you get to 55, then you're gonna start doing your super strengths, and those are your pure sets. So that's about 7k. Um, but if you want to make even more money, about 10k for three pots each, um, then hold out all the way till you get to 66. Um, that's your guys' choice. Or you can always go back and make some more if you need to. Um, so, from th from 55, don't worry about magic essence, don't worry about weapon poison. I mean, if you want to make some, go ahead, but it's not worth it. Um, make your super restores. Um, super restores are a good profit. Um, I was making a few today. Snapdragons can go for about 7k each. Red spider eggs are 200, and I sold 20 some of what I had left over for 9.1k each um, and they fluctuate, they'll go higher than that too sometimes so that's definitely good money um, but they're very hard to get rid of because not a lot of people want to buy them because um, if you buy super restores you're obviously going to want to buy cerebrews and cerebrews aren't until 81 so make these, hold to them, hold on to them if you can if not then it's understandable so then you get to 66 and make your super defenses these are some good XP um, definitely. Um, come down to 69 after that and make some anti fire breath. And a lot of PVMers will use these, a lot of bots will buy them from you. 
um, that are great XP. Um, it may take some time to sell, but it's worth it in the end. And then uh, your ranging pots. Um, ranging pots can go. Um, I've sold some up at 7.5k each and as low as 4.5. Um, I wouldn't go much lower than that. Um, it's not worth it in the end. Magic potions, I didn't really make much of, much of those. Just um, by person by person basis. Um, and then you're going to come down to your Cerebrus. Cerebrus, this is where I why I said keep hold of your uh, super restores because a lot of people that are going for JAD and things like that want Cerebrus and super restores. Um, definitely, 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 you sell both of those together, you're going to be able to grab like another 1k profit. Um, that's how you do for the money method. Um, I definitely advise you guys to do that. So now for the fast method and this is the way I did it losing about 20 mil okay you're definitely gonna want to be using Zybes for all this shit by the way if you did not know that before so you're gonna come in go gung-ho on attack pots all the way till 12 which is strength pots from your strength pots just because it's hard to find ground unicorn horn I, that's why I say skip that and go straight here um, from strength pots, you can make stat restores, didn't make many. Go to your energy pots. Um, energy pots, you can get rid of fairly quickly. From energy pots, do prayer restores, which I already said, you can, go f you can get rid of extremely, extremely quickly. Um, from prayer restores, you wanna go to, you're going to want to go to 45, which is super attacks. And then you're going to make your super sets, obviously. Um, from super attack, super energy, super strength, um, and keep making your super strength to super restores. And when you hit super restores, super defenses. When you hit super defenses, do ranging pots. And that's where I draw the line. Um, I did ranging pots from about level 83 to 99 in a matter of a week. I'd say maybe a lot quicker. I can't really remember, um, but you don't want to go any lower than that, or hi any more higher pots than that. And a lot of people are like, but why? Cerebrus are, you know, a lot better. Um, that's not true. Uh, Cerebrus, yes, you know, they take another nine levels to do, but it's totally not worth it. Um, you can get the dwarf weed, a lot of them, very quickly. Um, I recommend going to a guy, his name is Thong, T-H-O-N-G, he's always in his uh, clan chat when he's online, um, he will sell you quite a bit, um, that's the guy I was getting mine from, he was selling me about 5k at a time, until I got 98 and 99, and then he was selling me 7k at a time, just because of how many it took, um, he also has over 100,000 wine as Amrax, so definitely go to him for that, um, when you see Cerebrus, Cerebrus are a lot harder to come by. Um, Toad Flax is very, uh, there's a lot of it, yes, um, but Crushed Bird's Nest is few and far between. Um, the most I've seen all together was like 1.1k, uh, which is terrible. Um, do not go for Cerebrus for 99. I'm telling you, go to Ranging Pots. It's definitely going to be worth it. You're going to get uh, more XP quicker. Um, Cerebrus give you what was it, 180? Whereas ranging pots give you 162. It's only an 18 XP difference. Um, I know no XP waste, but still, trust me, ranging pots are the way to go. You're going to be able to make about 10 of these in the time that you're going to be able to find enough to get the, one of those. Um, totally, totally worth it. Um, so that is my guide. Um, it's been going on for a little bit, but thank you so much for watching. Um, Please make sure you go and hit the follow button on my Twitch live stream. Um, I stream about every day for try to do six hours a day. Um, I'm starting up this YouTube. Very, very new for me. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe. And my Twitter will also be down in the bottom where I announce my live streams. So thank you so much and uh, have a good day, guys.